All right, I am making this video just to have these images saved in a video file uh, on the cloud, just in case, you know, something ever happens to my hard drive or to my SD cards or anything like that. So what I'm going to do for this video is I'm just going to click through some different photos that I've taken of some of the stone uh, megaliths in the northwest and I may I may be making some comments on some of them uh, just in case I do release this video in the future but as of right now I'm kind of just keeping everything on the down low I'm not like giving exact directions or uh, coordinates to any of these so first, okay, hang on. These first ones were from Oregon. I mean, not Oregon, uh, Idaho. And okay, this is where they start. So these are the uh, these are the ones that are way up in the mountains, farther up north, that I was just exploring. So here's another one. This one's pretty easy to get to. From what I remember, this is right off the road. Now, all these these rocks, they have these knobs built into them. There's a farther away shot. Very similar to other stone buildings from like down in uh, South America like the Mayans and the Aztecs and stuff like that, ancient Egypt, etc. Here's another one. We got these perfect little carvings right here. These things are just huge. They weigh tons. They're always stacked up on top of each other. It looks as almost if there was uh, some kind of earthquake that caused these things to like tip over, maybe start rolling down the hills in some spots, or maybe uh, you know these things were uh, could possibly have been as old as the flood. Like 10,000 years ago? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I've never, like, carbon dated these things or anything, and I, I, I don't know of anyone who has. Here's one where you can see very... Um, defined cuts and um, it looks like they were filed down by some kind of tool or something. Here's something that we um, that we see like repeatedly is these these bricks these like they're kind of like orangish pinkish colored bricks and they're always aligned with each other in these rocks. They always go in lines encircling them. Here we see it again, right here. Right, let's flip that. See they're kind of like spiraling up. And you can see here some more that were obviously connected with these ones. So, you know, something happened where these rocks got split apart or something. I mean, again, who knows? Could have been a flood, an earthquake, a comet hitting the earth, a volcanic eruption. You know, maybe it was a, a pole shift. I mean, who knows? Another one with those orange colored bricks and another 
Okay, this one has these, like, struts that are like rocks that are used as struts to hold this thing up. I mean, that doesn't look like it happens by accident. more of those orange bricks going across. Very strange. That's just a farther away picture. Again, more bricks. There's a close-up of the bricks. Now, I'm, I'm not a geologist or anything, so maybe someone who's trained in geology can tell us exactly uh, what what these are. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the, uh, like the main rock part, like the gray part, is granite. Um, this looks like it could have a lot of quartz crystal in it. I, I mean, and we all know that, um, you know, quartz crystal can retain uh, memory. You know, quartz crystal is used in computers and can it can do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, who knows what they were using these structures for. Most likely, I think they were using them to, to uh, tap into the the earth energy because, you know, obviously all these structures are always found on energy grids, and there's a, a major uh, earth energy grid going right right through this state. And all of these structures are located right around the area of that energy grid, so... They were doing something. A lot of these are uh, barbed wired off. So someone, you know, is trying to keep people out, but... It's pretty easy to get over these. Here's one of the really big ones I found. This is on the opposite side as the other ones that I was showing previously. There's those bricks again. And again, some more bricks being used. There's me just taking kind of like an overview shot. Just so you can get an idea of the kind of terrain that you have to cover to find these. I mean, you're literally like hiking through the, through the wilderness. There's no trails to these or anything. Like, no one, I mean, I'm sure some locals know about them, but you can't like, it's not like a tourist attraction where there's trails and and plaques explaining what you know what the names of these are like these are just barely getting discovered i mean i've only seen one other website uh from from another local that lives in the area who who has discovered a whole bunch of these huge structures all over the in the mountains and i i highly doubt they've discovered all of them because these ones that i'm showing you are not on their website Here's an overview again. Now, if you notice over here, there's actually a perfect pyramid that, you know, appears to just be buried. So again, maybe it was the flood that buried it, or something. But when you got a whole bunch of these huge stone structures and then a perfect-looking pyramid not too far away, you know something was going on thousands and thousands of years ago. Some very highly advanced people were over here building these things. Or maybe it was uh, it was some beings from another planet. Most, li most likely, that's what I think anyways, by our ancestors 
the same uh, same beings that were down here doing uh, genetic experiments on the to create the human species and stuff like that. It's typically where all this stuff traces back to the farther you go back. Here's another really big rock where you can see very precise filing tools or cutting tools. Now up here you see a very obvious rectangular shaped block. And these things are huge. Here's another really odd one. I mean, these huge rocks that weigh just tons and tons like this, they can't just get up there by chance. I think they were using, like, anti-gravity technology or something like that to get these up there, to move these around. Here, this is like perfectly flat right here. Here's some more examples of the precision cutting. This is probably the most obvious one that I found. I mean, a perfectly square brick. It looks like it just got dislodged a little bit within the structure, probably from an earthquake. I mean, this one's probably like, I mean, from here up to here, I mean, this thing's like, like 20 feet tall. Here's some more on the side of the mountain. Again, more precision cutting. And if you notice up here, we got another perfect square cutout, and another one right here. More of those rocks, or those bricks, I meant to say. Okay, this one was actually like a half a mile down the road. I was just kind of driving around some of the different back roads and exploring, and then I saw this. Okay, and that, that's just an overview of the city. But that's what I found so far. In the mountains, like, there were some some other ones I wanted to show in here. Where'd they go? Hang on. Okay, this one. All right, this one is located off the the freeway right here. As you're like driving, you know, on the windy roads through the mountains, you can literally just pull over and. Um, You can literally like walk to this thing. It's like 15 feet away from the road. There's my uh, my truck that I was driving, so you can see how close this one is. So look at how perfectly stacked up these are. So obviously, you know, something happened, and the the whole structure tipped over or is leaning over. But this is just like sticking out of the side of the mountain, right off the road. You can't miss this thing if you're driving. There's a little closer image. Uh, this is also the same spot right off the road. You can see the, again, more precision cutting. Okay, this is also right there off the freeway. There's holes drilled out of these rocks. Now these are perfect, uh, perfectly cut circles. And they go all the way through. 
um, just perfect geometry the entire way through. There's two of them in that rock. Oh, that's me at Seattle. I stopped by Seattle also when I was uh, exploring up here. So that's it for now. Um, I do plan to go back and hit up another uh, another hiking sesh. Sure, there wasn't any more. Oh, actually, wait. There's a couple more I wanted to show. Sorry, these get kind of mixed up because I got some videos mixed in here with them. Okay, this rock. This one looks like there was a face carved out of it. You can see right here we got an eye socket, a nose, a mouth, and a chin. There's a, a closer shot of the face. I mean, look at that thing. How can you tell me that does not look like a face was carved out of it? Okay, that's it for now. I will update as I uh, get more pictures and get more videos. See you later.